If we look back, this is Tuesday, Wednesday, and then into today, Thursday, on the right side of the screen. You see it's separated by this vertical dotted line. You can see from the RSI high set on Tuesday into Wednesday, we created bearish divergence. That divergence sets us up for potential for a reversal. Not necessarily that we're going to break down and fall through the 800 EMA down here and fall all day. You can't assume that, right? But you can assume that once you have a high set and bearish divergence present, you might see this thing come lower. It could chop sideways. Of course, it could keep rising. But this is where, if you're looking for reversals, if you're paying attention to relative strength, this is where you can step in and actually take advantage of some of these pullback moves instead of just trading in trend, like you hear me talk about all the time. So notice in the third hit to the high of day yesterday, first hit was here, second hit was here, into that divergence, this third hit, that's where I was able to go down to the one minute. If we take a look where that circle is, you'll actually see even more bearish divergence. See in that circle, how price is rising and the RSI here is falling more bearish divergence there, where at that point, now with multiple time frames showing a bearish signal, it made sense for me to take some risk here. And that trade ended up working really well. And I was very grateful that it dropped to the 200 EMA right here. And that's why I was full out of the trade. I took profit at about 40 pips. I was very, very happy with that move because we know that sometimes these moves will not go all the way to the 800 EMA. It's just not gonna happen. But when you can catch a move to the 200, take your profit and move on for the day in a pain-free trade, those are things that I like to be involved in because even with small risk at 10, 15 pips, I'm able to come in and get 40. That's good risk reward. Now flip to today. Notice how price pulled all the way back, pinned the zone yesterday afternoon, and then actually sat there overnight, but it didn't go any higher. If you want to be really specific, you can even come in and draw divergence today right there. Now that divergence at the same price level that we were at yesterday signals to me, and this happened before I was awake, but that if we make a lower high off the divergence structure, which we clearly do right here, this is the lower high, then we could see it break the 50, which it does here, and come lower to the 200, just like it did the day before. Notice how after the first 50 break, really this was the first one, but I didn't like this one in hind, like when you're looking at this, this isn't after the lower high is already made. So you'd like to see that set and then a break. Watch how it kind of comes up, tries to get above again and can't even sit through the 50. So that's the safest place to take your position and trade it to the 200. Now, if you look back to yesterday, what happened when it hit the 200? It literally stopped and bounced. Today, it fell all the way through, finally making that move to the 800. So even if you took the trade at the 200, you were still able to make money today and maybe you left a little bit in as it held the eight EMA, and you could have taken that down to the 800 EMA before seven o'clock this morning. Yesterday.